Hello, welcome to Refill Technology session. In this session, we learn how to increase database value by using a specific ID. And at the same time, we want to insert a new record into our database table. First, we need to um, create the record tables into a database table. In the interest of time, I'll recreate a database. Look at this, we have the account fields um the rest of the properties here we want to do we want to increase this statement amount in our account table then we want to insert a new record into our deposit table like uh, we have the um, uh, account number account holder name the amount is deposited the sort code and the date okay let me just open the visual studio uh, i already designed the void form the label control and text box and the button let me just double click the button and here what you do we are just creating we are just checking the text box value if it's null we want to just return a message provide the user information after that we are just creating a integer type this type is a and convert a uh, convert into 32 bit and whatever the value is coming from the text box txt1 that means to say the first text box okay we need to convert it into the integer 32 bit then we are just again creating the integer type is j then we are creating the skill connection and we are creating the skill command on there then we are creating just a skill transaction object then we're opening up uh, opening the skill connection then we are just executing the connection with the being transaction method. Then finally, with the command, we are just opening the connection as well. So finally, then we are just with the command, we have a transaction object. We are just passing with the transaction object into our SQL transmit into the SQL trans method. Then we are saying the SQL common type equal to common type equal will be text. Then we are mentioning the common type. We are saying into the update the account. I mean the table um, the set a statement amount equal to split amount whatever is coming from with the plus sign that means to say we want to increase the value of the statement amount with the text box 3 the text box 3 what is the text box 3 the text box 3 is the amount look at this the text box 3 is the amount what is the amount is coming from the uh, text box 3 then where we are checking where the account number equals to text box one, whatever the bill is coming from text box one, and the first name equal to text box two. So if these two statements returns two, then we want to have to increase the statement amount, right? Then we are just passing execute non query method with the command into our integer j object. Okay. If the integer j object equals to one, then we want to then we are saying the transaction is uh, the whatever the credential user provided is true and the label check uh, into the label text message we are saying transaction is completed and transaction committed then after that we are just again creating the skill connection string with the configuration manager here we are defining the name of the connection then again is the same thing sql connection with this sql command uh, we are just passing this um, the store procedure name with the connection object then we are just associating all the parameters coming for the account number, account order name, deposit, the subcode, and the date. Then, for, then we are opening the connection and execute the command one as well with the non query method. Then we are saying that if everything is done correctly, we want to display the message is uh, record is inserted successfully. Otherwise, it will roll back. That means nothing will happen. So at this point, let me just rebuild the solution. As you can see, build is succeeded. Let me just run the application. Remember what you said, we said in our skill query, if the account number and account number first name is correct, then the transaction will happen. Otherwise, it will roll back if it's not valid credential. Let me just execute the account table. Look at this. We have the account number, number four and the name is in, and the record name. Let me type the correct credential first. The account number is four and the name is the name is mentioned is my i s m a i n the amount we want to deposit like seven thousand and the sort code whatever sort code you want to mention 
and the transaction type is deposit and a date and time. The moment I click the transaction button, it will display the message. The transaction is uh, committed and the money is depo depositing to your account. Let me see. As you can see, the deposit is added into your account. And when you click the button, then it's saying the record is inserted successfully. When I click OK, then transaction is completed. So let me just click the SQL Management Studio. So at this moment, look at this. The statement amount of account number four is 13,665. So when I re-execute the query, we expect to be the value should be increased. Okay. As you can see, the value is in it is already increased. So as you as I told you the before to start this tutorial and we want to insert a new record into a deposit table with a specific account number. Look at this. We have already the account number four, the account number name, the name, uh, the amount, the short code, and everything. Okay, so look at this. There. Let me just um, enter the uh, invalid credential with the account number four. As you can see, the transition is filed, so the record is not updated. And it, as you can see, there is no record is inserted with this particular account number. And as you can see, um, the statement amount is not increased any okay if you have any questions any suggestions anything else to say about this bg and tutorials feel free to leave any comments any suggestion in my blog i'll be happy to get back to you so thank you for it uh, for listening and see you in next video tutorial